So I did pick up Lou Brock and Victor Martinez a couple days ago. I did play a couple games with them so far because when I was doing uh, some team epics and trying to get that Roy Oswalt, uh, they were in the lineup. So Lou Brock is in right field. Victor Martinez is behind the plate. If you follow me on Twitter, you probably saw the tweet I sent out saying that uh, Yogi is pissing me the hell off, man. Yogi was pissing me off so damn much. Wasn't really blocking anything behind the dish. So I've heard from a lot of people saying that this Victor Martinez is pretty much a brick wall behind the plate. That is exactly what I'm looking for, and those hitting stats are ridiculous as well. Lou Brock's hitting stats are very good against righties. 99 contact, 78 power is very good. For someone who has 99 speed, also has very good vision, probably won't use him against lefties. Probably will just put uh, someone else in. But Victor Martinez, man, th these hitting stats are insane. Like, this is a must needed card in this game especially since he's a switch hitter obviously and he can play behind the plate too so this is definitely a must needed card bob feller was on the mound in this game i'm still trying to get uh the flashback Corey kluber max scherzer and roy oswald to the hill and i'm hoping that won't take too long i know for a fact it most likely will but who knows, maybe the next game I play, I will have one of those guys on the mound because I'm more, I'm more excited to, to uh, pitch with Roy Oswalt other than Scherzer and Kluber because I do have the live series Kluber and I did use him, uh, not that, no, not too many games, but I did use him a good amount of times and, and that flashback Kluber is kind of similar, but Scherzer I haven't even used in this game yet. I've heard that that 95 Scherzer is very good as well. So I'm, I'm more excited to pitch with Scherzer and Roy Oswald. Mostly Oswald for some reason, man. I have no idea why. Just maybe it's the sinker because when I've been using Hershiser, man, he's been, he has just been dealing on the hill. So maybe it is the sinker. Maybe it's the fact that his hits per nine is amazing as well. I think it's around 94. But this is the Lou Brock and Victor Martinez debut. So I should be discussing them. Lou Brock is starting this off with a triple. And then Brantley was batting second this game. This is a good spot for Brantley to be batting. And he is driving in that run. I think that went down as an error. But he's making it into second base. He does get the RBI in the process. So now there is another guy in scoring position. I had Victor Martinez batting, I think, fifth this game. I may move him up, man. I know Arenado has been doing amazing as he comes up with another base hit. This game had some sketchy connection at times. It was one of those games where it was taken, you know, like five, six seconds at least in between pitches. But I was able to get the base hit with uh, Arenado right there to cash in Brantley. And then Eddie Matthews is able to get a base hit too. That was a bad bounce that didn't go down as an error. So that... That is the first base hit of the game for Eddie Matthews. Eddie Matthews has been heating up lately, man. Didn't have the first, uh, the first couple of games I played with him. I don't think I did all. I didn't. I don't think I did that good. But over the past couple of games, I've been doing a lot better with Eddie Matthews, especially when I've been grinding. Jesus, dude, uh, you guys should have seen what I was doing to people, or not doing to people, doing to the CPU when I was grinding these missions and shit. Eddie Matthews was going off. And yeah, I know it's easy and shit to go off against the, the CPU and stuff, but still, Eddie Matthews was just on a, he was on a rampage pretty much. What was I saying? Oh yeah, Arenado, uh, he has been going off, he was batting, or he is batting third, and he has been for the majority of the time he's been on the squad. So I don't really know if I want to take him out of the three spot. I feel like that Victor Martinez would be very good in the three spot because Eddie Matthews, I feel like leaving in the, in the cleanup spot, obviously, with that amazing power. But Victor Martinez being a switch hitter, doesn't matter if you have a lefty or a righty on the hill. And I usually like to uh, switch it up between lefties and righties in the lineup. And yeah, right now, Lou Brock was batting in the leadoff spot. And then Brantley was batting second. And then Arenado, Eddie Matthews, and then Victor Martinez. So I may move him up. I'm not really sure. I may put someone else in at first base because Arenado is playing first base at the moment. And I know a lot of people were saying I should just put Eddie Matthews back at, or at first base and move Arenado back to third base. But I may try and get someone else in there because Arenado has been... He's been hogging first base for a good amount of games so far. I still have a lot of first basemen I really want to use. And Brandley sends one deep. I mean, Jesus Christ. How do you keep this guy off the board, dude? How do you keep him off the board? He gets the three-run shot right there. Like I was saying, this connection was... Very, very sketchy in this game, although I think that guy did leave after that, which was good. Honest to God, I was, I, I know you guys didn't really see it that much, but I was contemplating on trying to get this guy to uh, accept a friendly quit in that game because it was terrible, man. It was one of those games where it was legit, you were waiting 
Oh my god, you were waiting so damn long. I was sitting there like an idiot. So thank god that guy did leave. So we both weren't waiting around like fools, man. That game legit would have been at least two hours. Maybe even pushing three. If that was the full nine innings, I don't even understand how people can p try and play those games. How many times, too, where you get into these games, and me, especially me, man, I'm getting into these games where the connection is terrible. It's taking 10 seconds in between pitches. You offer friendly quits. People don't take it. It's like, what? You want to sit here and play this? Like, what the hell is even going on? But either way... Arenado is able to get a single right there somehow that lands in center field so now Eddie Matthews is in yet again like I was saying he's been heating up and man has he ever been heating up here's a shot to left field and deep look at this and it's gone Eddie Matthews is going opposite field right there showing off some of the power and that's that's leaving the yard, so I'm taking an early lead in this game as well. And then Victor Martinez wasting zero time. He's getting a single in this game too. Was held off the board in the previous game. Although it was only a couple innings, he didn't get a base hit. Lou Brock did. I think, yeah, he got the triple in that game too. So Victor Martinez is on the board. I just know for a fact that Victor Martinez is going to be a beast man. How can he not with those hitting stats? But... Who knows, there's been plenty of cards I've used so far in just MLB, the, any game it's ever been. Like, don't even, Pujols last year, the 99 Pujols was Exhibit A of cards you would think you would just go off with, and I couldn't do anything with him, so hopefully Victor Martinez can get the job done. And I noticed too, when I was uh, playing those games against the CPU, just grinding, you know, missions and stuff, I agree with every single person, man. Every single person pretty much was saying that they've been using... Uh, this Martinez behind the plate, and he has Bryn, uh, he is, he's Bryn, he is, he's been a brick wall behind the plate, man, I, I, that's, what the hell is going on in this game, dude, like, what, I don't get it, I, I swear to God, they got this backwards, I mean, you're using, like, Yogi Berra, man, 86 blocking this guy, this guy is a pylon, he's an orange pylon behind the plate, and then it's like you pick, you get these catchers with seven, below 70 blocking and whatever that. You can probably put a common catcher in. They'll be like Curtis Joseph in the 97 playoffs. Like, I don't understand. I really don't get it. How, like, I, did anyone else notice that? Like, I just don't get it, man. It's like, it's really, really weird. And it's like, I was testing it too. When Victor Martinez was in these games, I threw so many curveballs in the dirt, and he was blocking everything. This guy was legit, man, blocking every single curveball changeup, and I'm just sitting there shaking my damn head like, what the hell is going on in this game? But either way, man, Victor Martinez, I hope, hopefully he can keep it up because I've been struggling to find a catcher who can block anything. So he has been doing all right against the CPU, but who knows? That hasn't been in ranked season, so we're just going to have to wait and see. Bob Feller was on the mound in this game again, and whole, I, I can't stand using Bob Feller anymore. I agree with everyone, too. That's another thing I agree with with everyone. They've been saying that Bob Feller stinks for the most part. I completely agree. Everybody just sits fastball, and they adjust to the curveball and the slider, which isn't really, you know, that difficult to do because he doesn't even really have a good curveball or a slider, if you ask me. I think his break is pretty decent on that card, but I don't really find that his curveball or slider are too deadly or anything. But everyone just hits fastball, man. Like, you cannot sneak in a fastball against anybody who knows what they're doing with that Bob Feller. They will crush it. Like, I was terrified to death to throw a fastball in this game. This guy was just sitting on it. And then for, you know, the most part, too, when I was trying to sneak in a curveball or a slider, he was, he was on that, too. So the pen was very much active early in this game. After he hit that solo shot with Beltre, I did get the pen going and Bob Feller 100% will be taken out of the rotation I'm not really sure who the who should be in the five spot because I do have Kluber, Scherzer, Roy Oswalt, uh, Hershiser and I'm, there's so many other pitchers I have but I don't really know who else I should use because those have I don't know I haven't, I haven't even used Scherzer or Oswalt yet but I have been doing very good with Hershiser and I use the live series Kluber I'm guessing it's going to be around the same as the flashback Kluber so I feel like I'm going to do all right with him so still looking for someone in the five spot in the rotation. It's just going to have to be a trio pretty much. But I was able to take, you know, get some more runs on the board, I guess I should say, because this guy did respond back with a run. 
but I was able to capitalize back. Griffey gets what was that? Two runs, three runs. I don't even know what it was, but he gets the so he gets the home run on the board. And then I was able to get another base hit with Ripken, but then Lindor, I'm going down on the foul tip. So the bats were coming alive in this game early, man. The last game too, the bats were alive early. So that's what I'm hoping to get going because lately I've been finding that it's been a couple innings or so before the bats get going. Even though you'll be making good swings and stuff, it'll be a couple innings at least before you'll start to see base hits and results and stuff. So this guy is able to uh, get get some more guys on. I was hoping I could get on base with Lindor because I wanted to, uh, I think I wanted to uh, put Nate, who did I want to put in? I forget. I, I may have been Soria or something, but I wanted to put somebody else in. I just wanted to get out of this inning so I didn't have to waste somebody out of the pen because obviously I was going to the bench uh, in the next inning when it would be time for Feller to uh, come up to the plate. But I think I put in Granderson or something. He just hit a weak chopper back to the, the pitcher. And then Lou Brock, like how the hell did that be? How was that a base hit? Like that was a slider inside. He's sending that to center field somehow, and he's getting another single. So Lou Brock is apparently the fastest damn card in this game. Yes, 99 speed, but I've seen cards with 99 speed. Like doesn't VR, have no, he has 98 or 99 speed, I'm pretty sure. But it seems like some, some cards in this game, they'll even have like 93 speed. And it will seem like they have 99 speed. Like, hold, that last game I played, one of the last games I played, most of you guys probably saw it. It was the game where it was, uh, where I went up against a guy with 99 Griffey. And it was legit. Just a weak, weak hit fly ball right behind second base. Barely left the infield. He tagged up and scored easily with Lou Brock. And it's like, how the hell is that even possible? Hopefully, Lou Brock will do uh, very well for the squad. I'm going to be leaving him in the leadoff spot, most likely, unless I face a lefty. If I face a lefty, I'll probably put in Lorenzo Kane or something. Lorenzo Kane is an absolute beast against uh, lefties, dude. That's probably one of the best cards against lefties I've used in this game so far, which... I've been meaning to get so many players back in the lineup. It's just so damn hard when I'm trying to do this Griffey mission and Brantley is such a beast. It's pretty much just been two spots have just been held down in the outfield 100%. So Eddie Matthews is back up again. Tulowitzki, I'm pretty sure this guy had at short, is not able to catch that. So that one's going to center field. It looked like this guy just packed it in after that because, yeah, this guy was... He was clearly getting pissed off. He definitely wasn't trying on that play. And the next guy coming to the plate is Victor Martinez. He sent a one fairly deep to center field. That's definitely going to get that run in. And then <laughs> this guy is making a mockery out of it. This guy is jumping around doing crazy shit. Obviously, this guy just packed it in. I mean, whatever. It's all right, man. I will take the W. You know after that, this guy was just going to screw around. I figured he was going to leave at some point, And if he didn't, he would just probably let me score runs, which I was kind of hoping. I was kind of hoping this guy would let me score runs so I could possibly get this Griffey mission done. But either way, I do get the W. And as always, guys, if you enjoyed, leave a thumbs up. I will see everybody in the next video, which will be posted within the hour, I am hoping.